Cataract Patient Education Initiative by Allegan Eye Care. The most common procedure used is phaco emulsification, where your surgeon uses an ultrasound probe to break up the lens, which is then removed by suction. The advantage is that the incision is very small, around 1.8 to 2.8 mm, depending on the choice of lens, foldable or non-foldable. The incision heals on its own and does not require any eye patch or stitches. This surgery takes less than 30 minutes. The second type of surgery is extracapsular cataract surgery. This is performed when the lens is too dense and cannot be removed by phaco emulsification. The incision is larger as the complete lens is removed as a single piece. The healing process for this type of surgery is longer and requires an eye patch temporarily over the eye after the surgery. The third type of surgery is called Small Incision Cataract Surgery or SICS. This is performed by making an incision of 6 to 7 mm in the form of a tunnel through the sclera and cornea. The lens is removed and replaced with a rigid lens implant through this tunnel. No sutures are needed as the tiny incision will heal naturally by itself. Laser technology has evolved in cataract surgery and is the fourth type of surgery called femtosecond assisted laser cataract surgery. This surgery involves accurately focusing a high-speed laser beam on the corneal tissue to incise it and remove the cataract. Your surgeon can perform various parts of the procedure with this laser technique including making corneal incisions, circular symmetrical opening in the lens capsule and breaking the lens easily into fragments by softening it. Advantages of this laser technology include accurate intraocular lens positioning, precise corneal incisions, reduced ultrasound energy and gentle removal of the softened cataract through phaco emulsification. It also corrects a type of refractive error called astigmatism. Following surgery, your doctor will prescribe eye drops to prevent infection and inflammation. A follow-up visit is scheduled to monitor healing and to check for any complications from surgery. Once complete healing occurs, glasses are ordered for optimal vision, if required, depending on the type of intraocular lens inserted in the eye by your surgeon. Cataract surgery is one of the safest surgeries to undergo. Complications are rare but can occur and need to be addressed as soon as possible to prevent any vision loss. Complications can include persistent inflammation, infection, increase in intraocular pressure or peeling of the retina at the back of the eye. In rare cases, the cataract seems to reappear after a few months or years following surgery with a cloudy appearance in the field of vision. This occurs due to cloudiness of the capsule and not the implanted acrylic lens. It is called a secondary cataract and can be treated by a simple laser surgery by creating a hole in the lens capsule where the cloudiness is visible. Cataracts may be prevented by maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Fruits and vegetables are a good natural source of vitamins and antioxidants important in the normal growth, functioning and prevention of age-related damage to the islands. A diet rich in fruits and vegetables can help prevent cataracts. Not smoking or quitting if you do smoke lowers your risk of developing cataracts. Regular exercise and maintaining a healthy body weight also helps to prevent cataracts. Increased triglycerides are a risk factor for cataract. 
keeping blood levels of triglycerides under control through diet restrictions helps in preventing cataracts. Diabetes greatly increases the risk of developing a cataract. Diabetics should check and control blood sugar levels regularly. Wearing sunglasses with UV protection when outside protects the eyes from damage by the sun's harmful UV rays. Cataracts are a slow developing disease which normally does not get detected early. Regular eye exams by an eye specialist can help in early detection of the disease. Cataract Patient Education Initiative by Allegan Eye Care